all that really matters. I might have stayed there, engaged in the process, caught up in the cycle, needing us to be, being what you needed, but never being needed by you. I might have made demands that elicited half-hearted promises that echoed in the chamber of insincerity because in reality, there was never an us. Only a you, only a me, and a process that made us want there to be something we shared that was more tangible than just the same name. I might have reasoned longer had I not been 21 and positive it wasn't meant to be so hard and that the only word that really mattered in the English language was next. Long division. And then there is love, the calculus of human emotion and absolute divisible only by itself. First recital. She pulled the sash tight, the organza bow perfect, my petticoat stiff, ego inflated enough to face the music, fingers not yet long enough to add elegance to sound, hunt with precision, echoing the road map in my mind's ear as I play a remarkable flight of the bumblebee. Second row, third seat left, she sits next to dad, hands clutched against her breast, praying me through. I bow instead of curtsy, though we've drilled for days. She cries instead of cheers, reminded of the countdown between us that has already begun. My father. Dying is not the kind of word I think of when I think of you, even now. Even though I watch life ebb from your being, dying and you seem an impossible duel. Still, I watched you meet it with shocking ease, knowing it would be your one and only meeting with this cold, dark stranger. I saw you enter that realm where danger does not dwell, where you stepped into that that is beyond my knowing, into God's kingdom. You are engaged, no doubt, in king glorifying things eternally now. No, dying is not the kind of word I think of when I think of you, even now.